What up, peeps? This your boy Glass. And I'm Brandon. This tag team tandem out there on Sports Talk on YouTube. About to end this season off with our Super Bowl picks. Man, this season went quick, man. It's heavy, man. <sighs> Just gonna give you a quick recap on our record in the postseason individually. Uh, I, we actually we both tied before the conference championship at six and two. I took both Baltimore, and San Fran. He took San Fran and his favorite team, the Patriots. So you know how I ended up. I ended up two and zero. Oh. He went one and one. So the overall for the playoffs. I went eight and two. He went seven and three. But you just gotta get used to it. It's gonna be like that from now. We got one more game. <laughs> anyway, so that's how that goes. Uh, once again, we're both in the electric football pick challenge. Uh, I think we tied for the lead seven and three, five and three. I can't remember. Our hands. It might be five and three. But we the lead. Tied up with Geo Nose. Shouts out. Uh, so I think what we're working with, uh, San Francisco, spread, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, spread is San Francisco at three and a half. That's a good number. So with that three and a half and the over under, huh? negative three, three and a half. And the over under is 47.5. So let's get the crack. What you got? Got the, you know, of course, we all know it's the Harbaugh Bowl. I'm looking for that. I think that's going to be kind of special. You got two brothers head coaching. Well, being the head coach of some, some well managed team. You know what I'm saying? I think they're pretty good. Outstanding football team. I agree with that. Yeah. So you got John Harbaugh. Coaching the Ravens, you got Jim Harbaugh coaching the 49ers. I just got you talking to Larry, talking about how they both married each other. I think offensively and defensive, defensively. Uh, I mean, Joe Flacco, as much you embarrassed me during the season, you stepped up in the, in the postseason yeah. as always and did yeah. your thing. Yeah, he a uh, big fan. You know what? And I was thinking today, Last time Baltimore went to the playoffs, they deal for the quarterback. Right. Alright. This dude was ten times the quarterback deal for us. I don't know what the he just had the defense. The defense, defense right. right. That was defense like world class defense. defense. Right. So right. I hate to see Trent Diff on there to even talking about I this guy fucking bomb. Anyway, he got a ring. He got a ring. He got a ring. He did just he enough. Managed. He managed. Right. He did just enough. Right. You know, so you got Flacco. I think Ray Rice gonna have a nice game. Um, Leach is back up, or actually the fullback, I might say. He gonna, it's gonna be a nice, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a mix of the two, the run game and the passing game, of course. Uh, Anquan Bolden, he was lights out last week against the Patriots. Torrey Smith, I think he gonna step Offense is gonna be, for now, they gonna step up. You know, Jacoby Jones, he messed me up when they played them. We ain't gonna talk about that. Defense, come on now. Ray Rock, I mean, Ray Lewis. Uh, Terrell Suggs. Scott, we got Nada. Henry, 49, same thing. I wanna see Randy Moss. I wish Randy Moss would get a ring. Cause I think I like Randy Moss. I think he's one of the top, if not the top 10. You get the right team to come back to. Right. You know, he made a couple big plays last week too. So. Right. I mean, for, for when he's used for it, right. he's doing the job. Right. Kaepernick doing his thing, running, passing. Vernon Davis, 
still doing what he's supposed to be doing. It's gonna be well even match. <sighs> so we got obviously, if I'm gonna break it down, oh, it's gonna be on the defensive side. Okay. Both defense smashing them out. Still equal, but just the one point to me, Ray Lewis. A lot of people don't like Ray Lewis. Everybody got their opinion. I like Ray Lewis. He won the top middle linebacker ever to play football. Lawrence Taylor first, then Ray Lewis. He ain't the most gifted, I don't know like that, gifted linebacker, but with effort in everything he do, he a good motivator. He, he gonna show you what he gonna do and everybody will follow suit. Like I said last week, he'll talk you to running into a wall. <laughs> I just think that's gonna be the end. Everybody knows this is gonna be his last game. If I ain't, and if, if you really look at it, it might be Ed Reed's last game. If it's not his last game of his career, it might be his last game as a Baltimore Ravens. His contract's up after, after this season. And uh, rumors going around, Patriots, Anyway, with the rooms going around, he might be going to the Patriots. But anyway, it's like the last run. Everybody's falling in. Going back it up. After the dust settles, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a close game. After everything's said and done, I think the Baltimore Ravens are going to squeak out of this with the championship. So my pick, the Baltimore Ravens over the 49ers. Nothing against the 49ers. So much, you know what's one of them things like, we're going to lock y'all up in this room, two fighters in this room, and only one of y'all going to walk out. And I just think the Baltimore Ravens going to have enough motivation and, and um, to walk about that room with Chapman. What's that, one? what's that motivation? Ray Lewis, last game. Just the fact that Ray Lewis talking to you. Ray Lewis been talking all year, though. But look where they at. Yeah, okay, that's that's true. Ray Lewis talked all last year. Okay, but it was this fault that his kicker couldn't kick worse shit. They could have been in the same spot. I ain't got nothing against Ray Lewis. I, 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 I like the <laughs> So, that's my pick. Ray, uh, Baltimore Ravens over the 49ers. I even give you a score. Ravens 28, 49ers 23. What say you? Pick the over. Yeah. Mm. Uh, all, all that's that's what you said was true. Baltimore defense. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's gonna be a defensive game. Uh, the defense is like you said, they mirror each other. Except Baltimore defense is old. Right. San Francisco defense is faster, younger, but Baltimore defense is playing the playing better right now. More experience. More experience. They got a lot of vet veterans over there. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said earlier, I think they're going to be challenged though because they're facing a running quarterback. It's going to be a difference. Now, when you face a running quarterback, I mean the linebackers got to move. They right. got to run. Brand Suggs, they can't be. They can't go lateral like they used to. No, right. You know. And you know, if they uh, I don't know if they're gonna have a spy on this guy or, or what. You know, it's the last game. You gotta throw everything at him. Um, I think it's gonna be tough. I think it's gonna be tough for Baltimore defense. San Francisco defense facing Baltimore's offense. Flacco will have a hell of a hell of a postseason, and he ain't through a pick yet. Right. Probably, uh, and I've heard this before, but I'm just really noticing probably the best deep ball thrower. As far as just dropping it in there, I ain't just throwing it on the line down field. Just right. dropping it in there, <clears throat> he killing this postseason with that. Ray Rice, he consistent. Right. You know, he consistent. He ain't throwing on astronomical numbers, but he'll right. give you what you need. Exactly. I agree. He consistent. Baltimore, they can block. They, they got, they got everything. Both teams got everything. They got the receivers. They got the running backs. They got the quarterbacks. They got the defense. 
You know, ain't one side ain't, ain't better than the other. Uh, San Francisco, the home team. Oh, they are? Yeah, they the home team. Yeah. Does it matter? I don't think so. <laughs> right, it's New Orleans. But, like you said, they got that extra <clears throat> Baltimore, got that extra motivation, you know, so that might be enough. I don't want to hear about the hardball, hardball bowl or none of that. I don't need to hear about the side Super Bowl stories, you know, how the media try to find it. Uh, what's, what happened? So and so grandmother, you know, <laughs> right? And cousin, right. cousin Jason, who was in the car accident, with, and you know, whatever. I don't need to hear about all that. I want the game to be played. I think it's gonna be a real good game. Mm -hmm. I hope I see it. I doubt if I see it. I gotta work that night. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, who would I pick? I'm going with Baltimore. All right, I'm going with Baltimore because one, I don't like the 49ers. Oh, you don't? No, I don't like them. I pick them, but I don't like them. Uh, two, <clears throat> it's, it's Ray last game. I want to see him get a ring. You know, how you feel about Randy Moss? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a couple players on the 49ers. Okay. I like to see him get a ring. I, I, Moss one of my favorite all-time wide receivers. I like to see him get a ring, but if I got to see either or, then Ray got a ring. Moss don't have a ring. Right. You know, Moss just on the wrong team for my pick. Sorry. Right, I agree. But uh, I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be under 47 and a half point score. I'm looking at maybe 23 to 17. Mm. Baltimore. Alright. So, with that being said, so we both gonna say that I said Baltimore gonna win. You said Baltimore gonna win. With that being said, we saying that San Francisco will not cover the spread. Write that down. Uh, over under. I'm going over. Me going under, but that don't make a difference. That's off the record. Uh, so it's still, I think it's gonna be a good game, man. Like I said, sorry, Randy. You know what? I'm put you like this. If if everything. We both pick Baltimore to win, but if everything go right, 49ers might be back there again next year. No. I think my Bears team will have something to say about that. Mm -hmm. I that would be wonderful. I stepped out there. I that would be wonderful, but I got to see how this new coach is going to work. But those are picks. We got Baltimore winning the Super Bowl. We appreciate y'all checking out our channel on our weekly picks. Uh, Dave from Wake Up Is Football, congratulations. I don't think anybody gonna catch you. We only got one game left. Uh, he's the winner of our Pick Em and Shut Up League on Yahoo Sports. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna, we're trying to think of what we're gonna do for a bra to let you know what we're gonna do. Uh, once again, congrats. Congrats to Bernie B. Only woman playing in our league and I think she came in third place. Congrats to you, the only woman out there doing a thing. Congrats, uh, and uh, come see us. We're gonna bring it's gonna be an annual thing. So next year we're gonna bring back the Pick 'em and Shut Up League on Yahoo Sports. We appreciate you guys. Number one, we appreciate the twenty people that joined Enjoy. us. Right. Uh, yeah. People talking about they won't be in there next year, so we're we're gonna around August, a couple of weeks before the season starts, we're gonna put it back out there. We're gonna call people out again. Just in case y'all didn't catch the lecture, we called y'all this year. We're going to call y'all out again. Y'all step up, join us. But once again, we appreciate you guys checking out the channel, checking out our picks. We're going to still do stuff. It's going to be basketball season. Yeah. My second love in sports. Uh, we're going to come, you know, talk about our Bulls, talk about some sorry ass Lakers. Uh, and uh, we're going to keep it going. So, this your boy, Glad. And I'm Brandon. Best tag team tandem out there in sports talk on YouTube. As always, be good, be safe, get with it. Peace.